Hi, um, I am sure that everybody out there has had the experience before of reading a book for the third or fourth time and suddenly finding something in there that you don't remember having read before. And of course, it's not that you hadn't read it before. It's just that this time around, you are reading it from a much deeper space in yourself and that allows it to impact you differently. I had such an experience a few weeks ago while reading The Missing Link by Sydney Banks. And what I read impacted me so much and has continued to impact me throughout these weeks in such ways that I really wanted to do a video about it. And I have been putting it off, but anyway, today is the day. And uh, I am going to share with you what I read and then I am going to tell you about the difference it is making. What I read is, when Eastern mystics describe the now, they are not talking about today as a specific day of the month and year. Their meaning goes deeper. When such people refer to the now, they mean the personal mind is free from the contaminants of yesterday's memories and fears. So what what does that point to? Being in the now is not about paying attention to what is happening now only, but of realizing whether we're looking at this moment through the past, through our conditioning, through our identity, through our beliefs. And that changes the equation completely. Because one, it is a call to consciousness of what you are actually doing. And two, it brings an invitation to let go of all that and actually discover what now brings, but also what now is per se. If we give ourselves the chance to catch ourselves when we are looking at this moment, through the past, through yesterday. We give ourselves a chance to laugh and, and put all those things aside and give ourselves the opportunity to really experience this moment from a blank state, from a white page, from, from real innocence. I have been going through that for the last few weeks and everything has become, has become incredibly alive in front of my eyes, vibrant and new and alive. And it has broad possibilities that were not there before or would not be there if I were looking at the past. A couple of pages later, Sid talks about negative thoughts being like scratches on a window. And, and it seems to me like whatever past we bring to the present would be more or less the same thing, would be like, like scratches through the window that are not allowing us to fully see, completely perceive what this moment actually is. And so erasing all those scratches, getting rid of all those scratches, brings us back to, an, to a childlike state in which we can absorb and be informed by the moment in a completely new way. It's been so eye-opening for me that I really wanted to bring that to you and see if it sparks an inkling of curiosity in you of what this moment, of what this life of what you could be if you saw yourself, if you saw life, if you saw this moment without bringing any past to the equation. <sighs> Thank you for listening.